when Ibanez first started the conversation about doing a signature model, they said, take a little time and let us know what you'd want. And I said, I'm ready now. I know. I know exactly what I want. Because when you think about it, every guitar player, you know, they buy a new guitar and there's always that one if factor. And you go, well, this guitar would be perfect if it had a maple fretboard, if it had these pickups, or if it had this neck profile. So the Jiva is that guitar for me. It has all my favorite specs in one. My dad is actually the one that got me my first guitar, and the name of my dad's band was Jiva. It was a really fitting tribute for me for the person that got me started playing music. And of course, also, the word Jiva means your essence, your life force. It's what lives on after you have gone, after you're done. And my true hope is that this guitar and the music that I make with it and the music that now other people are going to make with it will live on for a very long time. <laughs> The Jiva is the classic Ibanez S-Series body. It's made out of mahogany with a quilted maple top. And the thing I love about the S-Series is this balance. I always say this in my clinics, so you can actually see I'm not holding it at all. If you bounce it at the neck joint on your palm, you see the guitar stays completely flat. And I love that about this guitar because I'm a guitar player that's very active on stage. I'm always running around. If you have a guitar that's neck heavy or body heavy, it's always going to be dipping one way or the other if you're not holding it in place. So I love having a guitar that just kind of returns to zero and stays where I need it to be. I love that you can see a lot of the natural maple, you know, the grain and the quilt through this finish. And I guess that's the only real change from my notebook guitar that I was always drawing is it was always all black in my head. And now I love that we have this sort of black and blonde aesthetic because it's classic, it's simple, it's classy, it's kind of sexy. There were a couple different options for the backwood and I just love the way that the Purple Heart and the Maple both look and sound together. And it's an ebony fretboard, which I find the mahogany and the quilted maple and the ebony are such an amazing combination of tone woods. I don't know why more guitars aren't made with this, but I'm really glad mine is. And it's not overly feminine, it's not overly masculine. It's something that a shredder can play, a rock guitar player can play, a metal guitar player, a surf guitar player, you know, really anybody in any genre can pick up this guitar and it looks at home on them. So uh, I, I love that. There's kind of a cool Easter egg with these inlays. You'll notice that it's modeled after an EKG line. We call it the beaten path because it's like a heartbeat. And you'll notice that the spikes of the EKG correspond to the fret markers. So it's actually really easy to read. You'll see a lot of little Easter eggs on this guitar that you don't notice right away. Something like, you know, we've got the triple binding around the body and also the matching headstock, which is not something you always see. These two are my signature pickups, the DiMarzio Pandemonium. The little holes are modeled after ribbon light and the middle is a true velvet, it's a DiMarzio true velvet. Or maybe I favor the bridge a little more like most metal players, but I use the neck pickup so much, I use the neck humbucker so often, especially in soloing, that it wouldn't have felt like my guitar without an HSH. And I really do use the single coil a lot too, especially in the Alice Cooper set, where you have a lot of these classic rock sounds. You have songs that were recorded in the 60s and early 70s, and they don't quite sound right with the humbucker. So I do like to split it or use a single coil for that as well. So this is the bridge humbucker by itself. Here's the bridge humbucker split. Here is the true velvet single coil. Here is the neck humbucker split. And finally, the neck humbucker in its full glory. So this is the Edge Zero to Trem. Ibanez only use their own tremolos. 
And the main reason that I chose the Edge Zero 2 is because it has this collared bar. Make sure this is tightly on my shoulder here. Don't try this without strap locks, you guys. But if you need to really throw the guitar around the way that I do, The beauty of the Edge Zero 2 and also, you know, Dodero NYXLs, the only strings I'll use, the beauty and the combination of these two is it stays perfectly in tune. You know, we go directly from my guitar solo into Poison in the Alice Cooper show. If I couldn't go directly into the biggest hit of the show and know that my guitar was going to be in tune, I couldn't do that. If that's not a testament to the durability and the way that this guitar stays in tune with the Edge Zero 2 bridge, I don't know what better testament I could give. <laughs> It's a player's guitar, you know, it's a fast neck, it's a sleek feel, uh, it's very, very easy to play, but it's not just made for playing fast. It is one of those guitars that even people that aren't guitar players pick it up and try to play fast on it, which I love, because it's, you know, it's you sit behind the wheel of a Ferrari, you're gonna try to put it in fifth gear, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's not just a shredder guitar, you know, I've seen people on YouTube do everything from surf videos to classic rock songs, to you know, the more shred stuff like what I do. I mean, I use this guitar literally for everything. I recorded my whole record, Controlled Chaos, with it. It did every job that I needed it to do. Fans of other guitar brands are like, I don't want an Ibanez because it's only a shred guitar. And you know, these people are going to a guitar center and picking one up for the first time and saying, man, I like this, this is comfortable. These slimmer necks are actually much easier on your hands than the thicker, more classic feel of a guitar neck. So I'm excited to bring more people over to Team Ibanez. Come on over, everybody's welcome. Yeah.